Yo, gamers, welcome. This situation sucks. This is like a very sucky, sad, not not good situation, and um, we gotta cover it because I don't know why none of the big big VTuber news people have been covering it. There is a VTuber by the name of Kenji. He's a very nice guy, as far as I'm aware. I've only had good experiences with him. He's been in a couple of my videos. I've been on a couple of his streams, uh, and to, to be honest, I don't didn't know that he was this hated of a of a dude apparently there were like this massive group chat of vtubers trying to expose and destroy and end his career which sucks uh we've all been there by we all i mean me and i'm i'm very sorry to hear that it got this far that apparently kenji got doxxed uh this situation is wild uh, i saw this guy static tokyo made two videos on it how kenji got doxxed and then a follow-up video uh, about the actual group chat trying to take him down so we're gonna be covering all this i'm gonna let you know my thoughts uh, as someone that that was very, very, very deep down the rabbit hole of the whole doxing drama on the internet, I, I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of things to say, and uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be maybe zero chill for some of it, because it's unforgivable to dox someone, in my opinion. So, let's go. Kenji Kugo go. got doxed by Dove A Love. Oh my god! And we're gonna talk about it. Static Tokyo Sun Bye. Kenji recently put. God damn, that's an intro. <clears throat> All right. Put out a statement on Twitter, basically saying Phoenix told him sometime a while back that. Do Shit, dude, that sucks. Of a love was downplaying doxing him in a group chat, and that has been fucking with him ever since he knew of this information. Which. Yeah, because uh, obviously, if you actually do get doxed, it's awful. Like I know there's always a fear. Sometimes people will say nuts, you got docs, and then they'll link me, and I'll go, and I'll ah oh, fuck, and I'll go look, and I'll see, and I'll see it's like fake. But until from the point where I'm told I got docs and sent the link, and to clicking on the link and seeing that it's fake, that period of time, my heart is in my throat. Okay, literally terrifying. And for someone to actually have a platform, dock someone, and retain that platform. Unforgivable. Literally. Get, get him out of here. Made him even break down on stream. Not cool. The information being spread were shared pictures, personal accounts, Fuck. legal name, and video. LEGAL NAME?! Post. That's horrible. The doxing Dude, that- it's- again. Unacceptable. Literally unacceptable. Took place of January of 2022, prior to him showing his face. But, he didn't really speak up about it as much, because he didn't want Dove to go crazy behind the scenes with that type of information. There, there's two, two points that, that are definitely worth making. One, you don't want Dove to go crazy behind the scenes to release that information. Two, hello Streisand effect. If you bring it up, more people see it. Like, if you make a big deal of it, more people know what's happening. So, obviously, you want to try your best to ignore it and let it eat away at you on the inside, where you know that the second you say something about it, you're just basically giving it the ultimate promotion boost in the universe. Uh, and it's awful. It's so, 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 so awful. <sighs> Literally being trapped in this, uh, in this hellscape, where you want to call them out, because otherwise they're just going to get away with it. But if you do call them out, you're literally getting yourself in trouble by getting more people to see it. Um, to be honest, uh, there is no bright side here. And it's despicable and disgusting that people feel like they can do this. It doesn't matter. Unless the person is an actual threat to people, like, unless the person is an actual pedophile or, uh, some, or a rapist or something like that, there is no excuse for doxing someone. Doesn't matter how evil you think they are. I wanted to avoid his government name and face being the center of attention. But apparently Dove is still downplaying it in voice calls. So how could this Dove person still even exist on the internet? And to all the people that were in this group chat, if you know that someone docks somebody else, why would you be nice to them? I would cut off contact ASAP. I, I would literally never speak to someone again. If I was talking to my friend, be like, oh, hey, how's it going, Mudahar? And Mudahar's like, oh, good, yeah, I doxxed Stupaville the other day because he was acting cringe. That would be the end of the relationship. Obviously, that would never happen because fucking Mood is awesome. Uh, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, uh, that would be it. There, there is no, there's no forgiving it. Till this day, he then says to all the niggas that was still fucking with her knowing what she did, they can all... And bro is done living in silence and fear. Get it.
Dove. I get it. It's tough. It's tough to live knowing that that happened and, and not saying anything. Keeping that stuck inside is awful. Uh, goes MIA, probably to limit some of the intense hate and to concoct the best apology they could. Oh, now shit. I'm gonna try my. Dude, get get Dove out of the community, honestly. Best not to give my opinion on this apology because I will give my opinion. This apology isn't directed towards me. I'll I, I will give my opinion, even if it's not directed towards me. I don't know. When I saw the situation, I obviously I didn't say anything publicly, publicly until now where I'm covering it. The only thing I did was message Kenji to make sure he's okay. F f dude, it's 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 despicable and it's disgusting and no one deserves this and god damn it. Also link the apology doc and every other source that I have in the description so y'all can read it for yourselves. But the document starts off with Dove saying she apologizes for doxing him. Bullshit. She's apologizing for getting publicly harassed and blasted right now for doing something horrible. So at least she calls it doxing in the document. She says that <laughs> she admits it. True. Sorry, I doxed Kenji. Uh, what? But she exposed his legal name and pictures of Kenji in a group chat of five niggas. Are you fucking dumb? To which Dove's friends went and found Kenji's personal Instagram and his family members. Yep, classic doxing, baby. Classic doxing. Dude, the internet is so powerful, it's crazy. Accounts. She basically says at the time she didn't understand the severity because she would share her stuff around all the time. That is not an excuse. That, that's not even remotely close to an excuse. Dude, what? Yeah, I shared his credit card because I shared my credit card, so I don't really see the difference. We do not care. And that over time, she learned how serious this type of situation is. Nine months later is when Kenji was made aware of the situation, which would be, uh, October. And this is when Kenji first spoke up. Dove and Kenji gets into a call with another friend to help mediate, which we later learned was Kage due to a statement on Twitter about the whole thing. I had no Kage. They chop it up to see how they can move forward. They both apologize to each other. I mean, I don't know no Kage. I don't think he's ever even been in any of my videos. Like, I've just seen him around. For certain things. And Dove love acts that she can still support him. Are you fucking- Look. Wait, what? ...each other for certain things, and Dove Love asks if she could still support him. We both apologize things for except for I asked him if he was okay with me still supporting him and staying around his community. Wait, so you doxed him and then wanted to keep supporting him and remaining in the community? Fuck, dude. Are you fuck- Look, I know I said I wouldn't give my opinion, um, but that kind of confuses the fuck out of me. Uh, this, this person's obviously insanely unhinged and wants every ounce of clout she can get by knowing things about Kenji. Dude, I, I hate this topic so much, but, um, like, the whole clout-sucking trend, it's like when, uh, she, she knows things about Kenji, so, here, so here's what she does. First, she doxes him to get attention. Then, when the doxing backfires, she asks to still be part of his community for attention. Guard Dove ended up kind of lingering around and gave bro space by not interacting much, saying that she didn't want to hurt him anymore. And the final paragraph is the typical, I'm sorry, I'll hold myself accountable and I wish you the best type of thing. <laughs> Whether dude, I love how the Niji Sanji shit is everywhere now. But dude, get her out of here, man. Get her out of here. See, this is like one of those um, death by association. I wouldn't be friends with anyone that was friends with her or that still is friends with her. That, that's how vile it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because I'm I'm reliving, like, uh, obviously some of my past traumas. Whether you fuck with the apology or not doesn't really matter. That's Kenji's decision because it, it was totally... Yeah, it's totally Kenji's decision. My decision is uh, it's unacceptable. The end. It's him. I really like your hair. But personally, she can get this purple. Kyoshiki Murasaki. Now, Hayase put out a statement on theirs. Who's Hayase? Experience with Dove. This kind of paints her to be a uh, even shittier person. But when Hayase was Dude. 16, he put out a statement against Kenji that was more so fueled by what others told him, uh, specifically Dove. Yeah, there, there a lot of uh, v drama in every community, but I know personally in the VTuber community is like the random little group chat of like a whole bunch of VTubers where they each basically just are in this echo chamber of just collectively shitting on somebody. 
to the point that eventually it bubbles over and everyone comes out with their cancellation tweets or twit longers or whatever. Just these little um, group chats that are completely built on preying on the demise of someone that they don't like. It's a massive, massive thing, and it's everywhere. It's not just in the VTuber community. I, the, recently, there was, like, this whole group chat of e-girls that were all, like, you know, the, the Twitter e-girls that are just, like, posting um, lewd pictures of themselves on Twitter? And they ended up coming out that there was this whole group chat of e-girls that would all basically plot the downfalls of other e-girls that were going viral. That was their competition. Like, these stupid, cringy clips. The internet's big enough for both of you, goddammit. But these stupid, cringy clips and clicks exist everywhere. It's disgusting, and it's literally everywhere. It's like high school petty shit, but it's so real. Basically, it's I know it's real because I knew that there were group chats that had it out for me in the same exact way. Uh, I, I am aware of many, many, many people in the public eye that were in group chats like this, specifically hoping that I would be canceled. Um, so yeah, personal experience. I know these group chats are a real thing. Um, but again, Streisand effect. You start putting uh, attention to it and more people are, you know, gonna look into it. Separate issue that has already been resolved occurred and this caused Hayate to form a dock on Genji. Oh my God, bro. Dude, why are they making docks on him? What did he do? Which Dove helped Hayate do. At this time, Haise didn't know what Dove did and trusted her and released the dog in Kenji. To which Kenji then goes to Haise and basically tells bro, Shoddy tripping. And he realized Shoddy was indeed tripping. Damn. Yeah. Trying to get me, I'm trying to Wait, so why would, why would this Haise person make a doc about Kenji purely on hearsay that he heard from someone else? What? Huh? You're going to make an entire exposed document? Because someone else told you this guy was bad with no proof? Huh? A lot of niggas Yo, left your ass. Embarrassing. <laughs> Rightfully so. Kage stated that he thought everything was resolved, but he understands that things like this doesn't go away easy, and says that Kenji is valid for how he feels. And he is valid for how he feels. He was doxxed. Huh? Now he will be cutting ties with Dove. And uh, a bunch of other niggas fall. You won't, uh, I love how he's only cutting the ties with Dove now that Dove was exposed for being a piece of shit doxer that the internet is coming together to hate. While they were in a group chat, uh, you know, hating on Kenji and, and making all of these, like, plotting his downfall shit, that was all fine. No need to cut ties with Dove. Dove seems cool and all that. But now that the internet hates her, oh, cutting ties with Dove. I've recognized an issue. All suit. Now, I'm gonna speak my mind a little, even though, again, it really doesn't fucking matter. But a lot of the people that are now cutting ties knew Dove did this shit that, yep. two years ago yep, right. when it initially happened. That's what I was saying. Yep, spitting. And now that Kenji's all like, block me and suck my dick, they wanna cut Dove off? They moving a little weird, in my opinion. They moving a little funky. But at the end of the day, I don't know these niggas, so I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like always. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Bro. Wow, that is some snake shit. Oh, I'm, I'm cutting off. I'm cutting off my relationship with Dove because Dove is getting incredible hate, and it would be bad for my image. I mean, because Dove was immoral. Don't go hate on anyone. In fact, just go show love to Kenji. People always find a way to hate or fuck with this nigga for the dumbest reason. It's so weird. I mean, Kenji likes poking the bear. He likes uh, prodding the beehive. Listen, listen. <laughs> Listen. And honestly, he really doesn't deserve it. But he doesn't deserve anything even remotely close to this. Listen, if he has a take that you disagree with, fine. If he has a cringe clip that you want to make fun of, whatever. Internet, free speech, do whatever the hell you want. I, I, don't, I don't give a shit. Listen, this is coming from the guy that gets canceled on Twitter every every week or two, okay? Um, uh, dude. Doxing someone? Get the fuck out of here. Or supporting a doxer? Bro. And basically, this is gonna be it for this video. Um, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. That was a good video. Um, it was nice and short and to the point. Uh, alright. Uh, he's got another follow up video on what's actually been going on. Apparently, um, Kage ended up in a call with Kenji. Listen, I'm.
Let's see what we got. Let's see the, the full story. Let's go. Let's talk about the group chat because for me, this is more even worse than just a single doxer person is like a group of people that all knew this was going on and still let it go. So remember when I said this? But a lot of the people that are now cutting ties knew Dove did this yeah. two years ago when yeah. it initially happened. And now that Kenji's all like block me and suck my dick, they want to cut Dove off? They moving a little weird in my opinion. They moving a little funky. I was right. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, 100%. I, I'm with you. I am with you, Snake Man. I am with you all of the way. I did. Why did it take you so long like to, to cut off Dove? Oh, yeah. So about cutting off Dove. After that, I realized my actions of what, what... After that? After you mean the, uh, the exposed stuff happened on Twitter? After everyone got exposed, that's when you cut off Dove? After that, I realized my actions? You knew that, that Dove swatted him. Uh, d doxed him, rather. You knew that! What do you need after the fact that, that they got exposed publicly? I would just hang up. If I was Kenji, I would hang up. That's the end of the convo. I don't want to. What I did, right? And I wanted to better myself. And <laughs> I wanted to better myself. Oh, I'm so sorry that I got caught. Kenji, hang up. You don't need. To, you don't need to hear this. I left. I ain't trying to hear that shit. And we're gonna oh, talk. He, he literally just hang up on him. Face. No. No. Sorry. Sorry. No. 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 Always remember the Nux life lesson that one in four streamers are pieces of shit. I'm just saying, I'm, listen, the statistic is solid. It is solid. You give me a compilation of every streamer ever, and 25% of them are probably pieces of shit. I'm just saying. So yeah, I was friends with someone that doxed you, and I was like trying very hard to expose you and end your career. But then when they got exposed, I I realized that I should I should uh, I should I cut ties with them because I wanted to better myself. Talk about it. Static Tokyo Sun Bye. Now before I get into right, it, y'all should go watch the last video. It's like actually important to get yeah, more of yeah. a full picture yeah, of the situation right. and yeah. to understand this one a bit more. Yeah. But basically, long story short, a streamer by the name of Dove of Love doxed Kenji back in 2022. Kenji spoke up at the time but swept it under the rug because he was scared that Dove may go crazy behind the scenes with that information. And also, strice and effect stuff. You never want to bring attention to something like this. Like that's obviously just gonna make it worse. Once he learned that Dove is still making jokes about the situation and downplaying it in voice calls, till this day, Kenji was not gonna let that shit slide. Yeah, Dove crazy, crazy. How could someone be so foolish that after you dock someone, you just casually use it as like a flex in a voice call? It's like, oh yeah, I doxed Kenji the other day, it was pretty crazy. Dove Love released a now completely bullshit apology, claiming that she is taking responsibility. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Here's the thing that Kenji and everyone else is saying. Why is the people that knew what she did still sticking with yes, it? Yes, sir. Well, they're all moving weird. That's why they all move funky. Yeah, the it, it's despicable. It's disgusting, and it's unacceptable. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, we've all been there. Uh, Kenji, I, I don't, I'm about to say something that I don't want it to be misconstrued. So hear me out before you immediately jump down my throat and, and cut off my penis. Per, per, my metaphorical proverbial penis on this take. Kenji is so lucky that Double Love is as fucking psycho as she is because she single-handedly sunk the entire ship of Kenji haters. Uh, I know, I, again, I, I know that that's, that's like, obviously he's not lucky that Dove exists because Dove harassed him and doxed him and did all this awful shit. But in a weird way, Dove sunk the entire shit of people that hate Kenji because anyone that associated with her purely because they hated Kenji is just cooked. Cooked! There is nothing in the universe that they could possibly say at this point that will, uh, that will hold any water because they were literally in collaboration with someone they knew doxed him and harassed him. Um, I, whatever. I guess silver lining to this whole situation. Unfortunately, I don't have a hater that's, uh, that's as stupid as, well, I probably do, but I don't, I don't have a public hater that's as dumb as Dove. The dog's main purpose is to shed light on the type of individual Dove is. Long story short, she's an obsessed is that asshole. How I got your address? The first thing the dog details. This is why. This is why you, know, you don't make friends with people you don't. Know. <laughs> this is why you stay away from people. This is why you don't have friends. Okay. This is a prank that was done by Elise, Sugar, and Dove. What? The prank was to have Elise covered in fake blood join the mod VC and say she got abused. They also. Wait. The prank was being covered in fake blood and saying, 
I just got raped. What's the follow-up? It's just a prank, bro. Played this prank on a person with a phobia of blood. You Niggas are on. What the fuck? Like, these people are crazy. These people are insane. Obviously pressed about this, but Dove, Sugar, and Elise more so cared about their mod positions. Because to them, the joke was funny. Listen, I love edgy humor. I have done some cringe, edgy stuff in the past. And it gets... And I still do. And it still gets reminded to me every single day on Twitter. Somebody is out there trying to make a thread about my video that I made on April Fool's Day in, like, 2017. Where I, I got streamers to say the N-word. But it turns out the N-word was nipple. And, and people are saying that, that I'm being edgy and racist for because of that. Okay? I, to this day, I have people trying to get me cancelled for that. This is just awful. This is just despicable. To which Dove went and quote unquote kissed ass to keep her mod position. Next incident is Dove's constant yap about her fucking debut. She would constantly talk about NBCs okay. to the point it was just annoying, and she even asked Kenji three whole times, one of which being live on stream. Announcement after it. Here's a bunch of fucking screenshots. Um, debut. She would also talk about her debut in chat and voice calls. This is also a reason why she's mad and why I didn't want to fuck with her. Okay, the reason I, I genuinely think this was the reason why she started this whole tirade. It wasn't about being unmodded. I feel like she was salty about that, but she would. She invited me to her debut three times on Discord, on Twitter, and then in fucking Twitch chat. To which bro was like, my I mean, obviously you don't want to put people on blast. You don't want to do that shit, but if someone refuses to promote your shit, if I am so confused. Obviously, whenever someone asks another YouTuber, it's like, hey, can you be part of my, can, can you be part of my Twitch, my debut? Obviously, you want their clout to show up, okay? You, you want their clout to boost your debut and have other people see it, okay? Listen, it's Cloud Chasing 101. You get big people in on your projects to make your project even bigger. Literal Cloud Chasing 101. But if someone refuses, they have every right in the universe to refuse. Nigga, I don't want to go to your shitty ass debut. And she obviously felt salty about this. They now detailed her role in work as a mod, which was pretty shitty it seems she would warn people that didn't need a warning because she wouldn't read the context of the situation what the fuck she's just awful she would notice someone that is breaking the rules but not do anything about it when kenji what? unmodded sugar for trolling kenji by disconnecting him from vcs dove would give that nigga the mod roll back dude get get her out of here it's not a matter of it obviously she is not good for you L let me tell you something else and this is also cringe um you're gonna hate this but um the reality is getting rid of somebody that uh is part of your squad or whatever like if you have a mod that you end up firing you're always afraid that that mod is now gonna go on a whole tirade and try to cancel you with all the secret info that they know uh, in, in this business, it's absolutely despicable the fact that anyone could make shit up about you. And being that they were in some sort of position that they were close to you, people that are gonna or that already hate you are just gonna believe them. It's not about having secret info. They could make up secret info and people will believe them because they're their mod. They could say, I was his mod for four years and he fired me for no reason. I was never paid. Four years of hard work down the drain, and I know all these secrets, and proceeds to make shit up. And people will just buy that because they hate the person that the per that she's lying about. And the only way to disprove that is to for the actual YouTuber to respond. And that is Streisand affecting again, putting a bigger spotlight on the drama. So a lot of people, I know personally a lot of people like this, that have employees that they hate and that have mods that they hate. That they just keep them around because they're afraid and don't want to deal with the fact that if they fire them, they're unhinged enough to show up publicly and try to cancel them with bullshit. Uh, I personally know people that are going through that. How awful is that? Uh, dude, I still remember to this day, and I've brought this up before. During my drama, my, my doxing drama, 
when, when everyone was out there trying to cancel me and shit, I had someone that was, in, that was an editor that I was thinking about hiring that I talked to about pricing and timelines and it didn't work out and I didn't end up hiring them. And he made a whole post about how I was a terrible employer. And he tried to cancel me for being a bad employer because I wasn't offering him enough money and because my timeline was too tight. And it was just someone that I didn't hire because I, I didn't want to work with someone that would take like two months to make a single video. I needed the videos out faster. And they literally tried to jump on that cancel train to cancel me for it. Shout out to, to the editors that literally all, all jumped on that man's throat and said, yo, Nux is a great employer. He's actually a nice guy. Shut up, all right? People did that and defended me. Honestly, it was all the spilling the milk guys. All the spilling the milk guys literally showed up and, and kicked ass and jumped on that guy. But uh, but the fact that that's not even someone I ever hired. That's someone I was just talking to considering about uh, considering hiring and never ended up hiring. And he went around and just circled right back and did that. D think about how absolutely insane it is when you have a mod that you've had for years and you know that the moment you unmod them, they are just gonna look for clout in some other way. They're not getting clout from being a mod from you. They're gonna try to get clout by trying to destroy you. It's such an awful situation. And then they keep fucking with you and like, what are you gonna do about it? The moment you fire them, you know that they're just gonna cancel you. And yes, it won't, ne it won't affect you in the long run. You'll respond and all that, but it's such a headache. I don't know, man and then had the audacity to change the admin VC name to Dove's Domain, go? like she's Gojo or something. She also had the habit of not discussing things with other mods, and also made people, including Kenji, very uncomfortable due to her talking about sexual subjects. Kenji gave Dove- Bro, like boundaries, dog. Of so many warnings about her behavior to which she didn't listen. So they booted her out. As Six should. days prior to- See, but here's the thing. You boot her out, and then she goes on the, the whole tirade. To the doxing, she messaged Kells, saying she wishes to be a mod, and she hates the way that she'd gone out. And then, of course, six days later, she doxes Kenji. So, obviously- There it is. There it is. Mod for a long time. They feel like they have all the power, and they can start fucking with you, and messing with your content, and your Discord server, and your shit. And then you're like, okay, I don't need to deal with this. You fire them. Six days later, they dox you. Wonderful, huh? Obviously, you're just a petty-ass nigga. To which she went on Twitter and downplayed the fuck out of it at the time. And now that I know that Dove was a mod for Kenji, there is no way in hell she didn't understand the severity of what she did. As a moderator- Oh, come on. There, I, I, there, I don't think you need excuses for that. There is never anyone who doesn't understand the severity of what they did. I didn't understand this. When I showed up at Jack's Film's house and posted it to my Instagram on SS Sniper Wolf for 3 million followers, I didn't understand the severity of what I was doing. What? You posted their public at your address, their, their house publicly. Are you insane? Are you actually unhinged? I don't know. There, there is never an excuse for that. Ever. I didn't realize stabbing him would kill him. For a streamer's discord. And she was even caught joking about the doxing situation. How do I become a bigger VTuber? Controversy sells. You're right. Aside for that, I'm a dox Kenji again. Well, I think anyone that associates with her, like, have problems. Look, I don't like canceling people by association. But if you are associating constantly with someone that's doing this shit, you have a problem. A year after. So she clearly doesn't give a fuck. We do not care. Now, a group chat All was right. made with these niggas, Maki being the one who leaked these for us. Okay, I don't know. And basically, this whole group chat. Who's in this group chat? I don't know any of these people, do I? With these niggas. Dove B. Kage. I do know Kage. Like, I've seen him around on Twitter and stuff. Maki, Thin Trover, I don't know anybody else. All right. Maki being the one who leaked these for us. And basically, this whole group chat was to plot on Kenji's downfall. And there was even familiar faces in this group chat. Fucking Two-Face Kage. Kage is a lying ass nigga. This whole group Bruh. chat just appears to be hating on- Despicable. Disgusting. Dude, you knew that she doxed him. How could you support- I, Again. There is this weird animosity between people in similar niches on uh, on YouTube. Now, I used to think similarly to this like a long time ago back in the day before I realized that the internet's actually a big place and uh, it doesn't really matter that much. But, but there is so much animosity between people in the same niche. It's absolutely crazy. Like, 
Kage, listen, I'm not, I don't know what's going through Kage's head, but this dude is like, wow, Kenji is a male VTuber. I'm a male VTuber. We even have similar color schemes. Wouldn't it be good for my career if, if, if Kenji was to die? Listen, I'm not saying that Kage actually said all that out loud, but I don't think that that thought didn't cross his mind. Kenji, some of it seems to be about a separate issue about one of his family members and a fucking prego sauce joke that they even found funny. Family Wait, members what? and a fuck. There was this one time when he got in like not an argument per se but he heated combo with his kid and the kid was just trying to get him to apologize for making fun of his pregnant lady granted the joke was funny and the woman was really annoying but he kept making fun of them and repeating stuff like what do i apologize for this or i'm lost i don't know what i'm apologizing for this and kept sending the exact photo that made fun of the lady as an example of what to apologize for it was really funny moral of the story the tagline was this now it's like an inside running joke but i wonder what he would think if you sent the screenshots and just posted the word this, Lamau. Not saying you should, but he would lose his shit. Okay. Fucking prego sauce joke that they even found funny. They were literally just praying on this nigga's downfall. For what? Now, Kenji did a live stream detailing all of this and you- I, I think it's it's for clout. Uh, as much as you say it, hey, as much as you hate to say it. I think he didn't like Kenji for one or two things that he ended up saying. And he also thought, well, if Kenji was gone, then his fan base would- Migrate to another male VTuber in a similar sphere. Um, uh, I, look, again, I don't know if this much was said, and it will obviously never be admitted, but I do think that there's part of that that is sort of true. Even hit up a few. I, I'm very like, God, I'm such like a doomer, black pill mentality when it comes to like the, the weird clicks and cancel groups. I, my mind always jumps to the worst possible scenario, so it could totally be fake. It, it, and we're never actually going to get um, real life answers. But I think it's likely. It's like the same way Niji Sanji, I think, wanted Selen to go through with the, the unthinkable shit that she ended up thankfully not going through with. Like, they wanted that. It's like the end of the PR nightmare. Like, I think these people are not normal, ethical, loving human beings that are um, the most forthcoming and willing to help their fellow bro. The niggas that knew about it. Phoenix wasn't in the group chat, but knew of its existence, it seems. Or at the very least knew of Dove's doxing, but decided to keep her around. I'm going to show Yikes. Show you a clip of the altercation. I mean, specifically me. Um, I'll be honest on, on some real shit. I'm not sure. You lie. Yeah, it's a lie. Pause for 20 seconds and say, I'm not sure. Bro was just thinking about whether he wanted to lie or he wanted to tell the truth. I am, bro. Get out of my call. Nah, nah, that's definitely a cop out, bro. Have a good one. Yes, sir. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? I'm cool. I'm not playing. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm not doing that both sides shit. I'm not doing that both sides shit. We fucking know, motherfucker. We had to fucking talk about that shit. Don't fucking play me, bro. I'm good on that. Basically, Kenji was asking why this nigga was playing both sides. And bro was just giving bullshit excuses. I, I, I dude, I hate that so much. It's, it's, it's all a PR game for all these guys. It's literally all just a PR game for these people. It's disgusting. It's like, if I say I don't know about that, well then technically I'm not going to be caught in a lie because then I can always say I forgot, but, but, uh, but if I, I, I guess, uh, uh. Which results in Kenji just leaving that nigga. Kenji also went on call with Two-Face Kage, and this was the whole interaction. You should record his meetings. Look at this. Look at the times. You should record his meetings, Kage says. Dove said. You should record his meetings. Shit. Shit. That's bad. He's Kenji. What did you expect? Kage said, did he really tell mods to delete it? Laugh myself, yes. He said I was doxing. Because it was that she was doxing. You What the f are we talking about, bro? What now? Look at you. Look at you, bro. Vinksfee's there. LOL, erase the server because he want to get rid of all the evidence of him being a dick to people. I'm a dick to people on live. I'm a dick to you right now. Suck my dick. I have no problem being a fucking dickhead to people that are fucking weirdos in a hate group chat. What the fuck are we talking about, bro? What a mess, bro. Bro, he should leave the community, LOL, LOL. It's getting worse. See, tell, tell me this isn't the message of somebody 
that really wishes he was gone, right? Tell me this isn't um, someone that really just wants him out of the community. You know what's bad, bro? And not because he's a threat to anybody, okay? Hmm, why else could he want him to leave the community? Hmm. You know what's bad, bro? You know what's bad, bro? Motherfuckers could sit here, go live, fucking fake cry. I don't give a fuck what you say, bro. You're gonna sit here and tell me that motherfucker was really crying? Suck my dick, bro. That fake fuck. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Yo. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, bro. Question. Why God, Why is dude. Maki sending? I can't believe he actually called Kage. Dude, I wouldn't even talk to him. I saw someone. I, I would see someone in a chat like this. I would just. I would just not talk to him. Like, what's he gonna say? I didn't know that she doxed you when she admitted to doxing you. I don't know. Sending me screenshots of you and Dove and all these other people talking shit behind the scenes. All right. Plotting to cancel me. Nah, yeah. I, I love how he's covering this doxing drama with this sock puppet VTuber avatar. What a legend. But I, again, what I did was absolutely horrendous. Hell yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for the admitting it. Bye-bye. Um, the, uh, the whole thing of that group chat, um, before that happened, uh, there were people hitting me up, um, that, you know, they had problems with you, right? And so, I was like, who are these people? And then so, I got invited to the server, or to that group chat. Invited to the group chat because other people had problems with you. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. When, when, you, when you said that I wish you, we was gone, la 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 la. And I was, while well, I was reading all of this, for or from like not even reading when we were calling and stuff. Oh, no. you didn't even read the messages in the group chat. <laughs> okay, what? Wait, huh? I was in the group chat with all these people hating you because I, I wanted to know what they were saying. Maybe you are a danger to society. So I joined the hate group chat uh, to protect you, if anything, and see if there was legitimacy. I didn't even read the messages when I was there. <laughs> the way that uh, they told me, they, it just made me feel like you were like a really bad person at that time. Uh-huh. With, with no evidence, obviously, because they didn't post any evidence. And I was, I was, um, I was filled with rage Filled with rage because they told him he was a bad person. Would you ever be filled with rage if I told you someone else was a bad person with zero evidence? And and spite, and so I was saying- And spite? Why spite? Why are you filled with spite? All these bad things, which I fuck- I think it's because you wanted Kenji gone. And you felt like, oh shit, we could do a YouTube fucking thing to get rid of him. This is like the Slazo situation that happened in the commentary community like six years ago. Like, they made a whole group chat. Basically, they thought that uh, that there were, like, these fake allegations against him. I don't know, man. These people are all so fake, it's wild. King, I hate myself for doing that. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Is that the reason why you kept Dub around? Because she was yeah. hating on me the same way? Well, so... I think, well, when, when Dove told me about what the problems was with, with you and her, it, it just felt like... Um, it, it, when, when she was telling me this, she was- She doxed him! Who cares what troubles they had? She was his mod. He fired her. Even if you believe her and think that he fired her unfairly, he fired someone for being a mod! She was saying, like, you know, she was traumatized, and I'm like- She was tra- Okay, alright, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. She was traumatized, so obviously, uh, the doxing is fine now or something? I, I was like, oh my god, you know? And oh my god. I know like you, you saw you, you saw the messages from Maki when, when he sent the screenshot, you know. Um, but I, it was just at that time man, I I was just full of rage and, and I... full of rage, bro. All the messages in the group chat when he was saying, Oh, Kage gotta go, la 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 that was when he was full and full of rage. I was full of anger, dude. And, and anger and spite and traumatized. Like, deep down inside, I really wanted to I really wanted to like, you know, I did Why want did to take you I really wanted to what? <laughs> what is even going on? So long like to, to cut off Dub. Oh, uh, yeah, so about cutting off Dub. He, he's no idea what he's saying. This is, this is tragic shit. Kage, for his own sake, he should have never taken this call. After that, I realized my actions 
Okay. Oh, after, after that, when she got canceled for it, I realized my actions were bad. When he was... When Kenji was doxxed by Duff, I didn't realize there was anything wrong with it. It was like all cool and fine. It was dope. It was it was pretty. It was poggers. What I did, right? And I wanted to better myself. And... <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Does he have like a, a chat GBT buzzword script of YouTube apologies? I wanted to better myself and I was in a dark place and he was traumatized and I was just filled with rage and with spite and with anger and then I realized that I made a mistake and, and I wanted to better myself and... And I left. I ain't trying to hear that shit. I'm good. I'm good, bro. Listen. Dude, honestly, really. That was awful. What was that? Dude, what was that? What was that conversation? So, uh, the Mafungo boys are done after this whole situation. Uh, the hell's a Mafungo boy? Everyone dipped. <laughs> Took three times to find the right profile picture. Wait, dude, Kage changed his profile picture to do better. Then he changed it again to sorry. Aw, oh, man, dog, aw. Oh. Dove is graduating. Kage is taking a break, in my opinion. Dove is graduating. Dove needs to be gone from the community. Apparently, there was a group, there was like an actual VTuber group of these guys. You never come back. I didn't even met. Yeah, Kage, Kage, you're cooked. I'm so sorry. You're gone, though. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Mention Kage underpaying an editor and even making a grape joke. So there's that. Uh, I'll link all my sources in the description so y'all can go over the information yourselves because I'm not a news VTuber. Hell, I barely want to call myself a VTuber anymore. Yeah, I'm just I don't blame you. I don't blame you, homie. It's not easy being a VTuber. That likes to talk. Like I said last time, go show Kenji the love he deserves. I, I said something wholesome in, on the podcast, like how anyone could make content if they just had a camera and, they, and, a, and a microphone. They could make content and people could watch it. And people were like, oh, yeah, you say that, but you're a VTuber. You don't even have a camera. <laughs> and it's like, oh, my fucking God, dude. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Get out while you can. And I'm just gonna end the video here now. That was a joke. Obviously, these are dope. I think these are awesome. People in here are mighty and, and, and jealous. Peace. That was a good video. Uh, Static Tokyo, you, you did a good job covering this. And I don't know why no one else did. Can you explain to me why no one else covered this? Why didn't Kyo or Fallside or any of those other VTuber people actually cover this situation? Kenji posted his own vids on it? Well, as he should. This was awful. This was despicable. Uh, I, I really hate this whole situation. There's no no bright side here. I hope Kenji... Uh... <sighs> Kenji, if you're watching this, I am here with you, man. It's fucking terrible that you can get PTSD through dealing with idiots online, but you can, and it's a real thing, and you gotta take care of your mental health, bro. Because... That's, that's one thing that they can destroy. They can't destroy your career because you did good, bro. You didn't deserve this shit. Anyway, I wanted to cover this because I wanted more people to see it because I wanted more people to realize how unacceptable it is. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.